Right, hello and welcome to this episode of Lowdown Garage. Now, today, me and Joe are going to be tackling the major issue on the women, and that is the crusty rust. So we're gonna try sort this with, uh, well, a bit of fiberglass. Now we've got some fiberglass mat and some fiberglass in resin, and then some body filler just to do the extra bit on top. We're not gonna use the body filler too much, we're just gonna mainly fiberglass. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking in the reflex. Oh, it's just yeah. And also while we do that, I think we're going to be uh, fitting the short shifter as well. If we come round here, I think it's all that far, and that far, and there's lot. That's all play. The short shifter will be for when the resin's drying. So we'll see how we go, and uh, we'll hopefully try tutorial the uh, resin a bit. But we don't know much about it yet until we do it. So let's figure it out. I do not like this at all. I've spent the past year touching this up. To be fair, it's the, it's the back that's worse, to Is be it? fair, yeah. Right. It's come through from the back. Right. Did you, oh! Yeah, there you ah. go. There's the first door. Oh. Oh. Nice. Anyway. Oh dear. That felt like filly, you know. Yeah, it sounded it. like it as well. It's all dropping off. Ooh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. We're going to carry on uh, making holes and uh, well, we'll see where we get. Hopefully, we can keep some of the structural integrity and then uh, pray for the fiberglass. Yeah, that just nailed it. Let me fix that. It balled it. Bastard. Damn. Here we go, so uh, we've managed to get it to that point there. Now, uh, that seems to be all the extent of the holes. It's much more solid than we thought underneath the bubbles of the paint. Um, the back is not. The back is absolutely crusted, but I don't really care for the inner arch. We're probably just going to pile it on as much as we can in there and just make some sort of shape out of it. Not too much though, because we don't want to be rubbing on our filler, but we'll uh, we'll manage anyway, so yeah. Joe's just prepping some more discs. And then we're going to keep sanding. Got a bit of eight to get on it now and uh, picking away at it. And then I am going to look at the shifter. And this boot is jammed in there because that is sat in the wrong place because of the engine swap. Getting rid of as much bad rust. Smooth holes. Now I am struggling with a gear knob. This bit. There's one end of it. So there's that. I need to get this out of here. I think my main problem for play is probably this. Which is just sloppy. We're just going to do what we can with it. It is what it is. He's what he Yeah. Right, Joe's got all this prepped up and uh, he's getting the strips of fiberglass made up. Wear, yeah, wear gloves. Don't do what we're doing. We just don't have any gloves. Yeah, but maybe. Uh, we've got a nice cut up mixing pot and uh, Joffrel's going to do some magic, I reckon. While Joe does his magic, I'm looking at the short shifter and, well, we've managed to get the old gear stick out. There's now a hole there. So, got to figure that out. Lucas is testing out the new bucket seat. He likes it. I think it's weird because it's off-centered, but yeah, yeah. that's that. I've got some fiberglass. Joe's going to lay it on and show everybody how to do it, even though we have no idea how to do it. Flat it on. So I want resin dripping on me. Just leave that to set there, lad. Give me a cloth. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's literally solid as a rock. That yeah, one. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. If you're in smell vision it smells. I probably don't even need it for a second. Oh, oh no, <laughs> resin on the cut. I did, but. Oh. Oh. Right, that needs tucking down a bit. Ah, oh, I need another piece of that. You get the gist of what we're doing, so we'll be back when we have done a bit more layers. 
that's in, held in place. Right, I gather that's how it goes, but now I've got to get that in. Mm. My finger is not small enough for this. As you can see, we've been struggling with those bolts there. It's in place. So we're going to get them tight and then mess with that rubber boot that's up there. Joe, yeah. show them what you've done. The fiberglass arch, all filled, nice and solid. Just need to sand it all down, put some filler in there, sand it again, prime paint. Should be good. Right, so here we have uh, the boys trying to figure out the uh, how the gear stick attaches. Ow. We managed to get that rubber boot back on that you see down there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do you reckon it is all the way down there? It's isn't it? taller. It's got to be taller. That's right. You said up. Oh. Does that seem higher or not? Don't clip it on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. Definitely. <laughs> right, let's readjust. Right, well, that is the short shifter installed. Uh, we managed to lower it down a little bit, show it and Joe. It's, there it is. It's a bit tall. Um, we've got a Nardi gear knob to go on it. I just need to tap the threads onto it. Because at the moment, this one just sort of goes like that. It is a much better shift. See, that's first. You throw is only that much if you look back at the start of the video now that's a lot better than it was and it feels nice and notchy and i'm happy with that the fiberglassing that joe's done has gone really well uh, as you can see it's looking really good i was really nervous about doing that but it's it, joe's nice joe's bossed it out there's some right yeah. thickness to it, isn't it really thick yeah it's already pretty Min. solid so we shall uh, join you for tomorrow lucas make the transition i'm off to another day Right, here we are back in the garage. We're looking at this again. Uh, just try to smoothen it out a bit. And then uh, we've got some red primer and uh, Joe's gonna have fun with that, I suppose. And then I am looking at the gear stick, which is this one here. Looks a bit manky, but says Nardi on it. So, you know, it is actually for an MX-5, but we're gonna make it fit because we want a good gear stick. We should be able to put that on there somehow, run it about there. I need to drill that out and we'll see how it goes. Guys, gonna fall off the gap. Here we are, so Joe's just mixing up the filler. Uh, we've always had this big can of it because when I used to have an MX-5 back in the day, I bought a massive can of it because I was gonna fill all the rust holes. Uh, sure, that would have gone brilliant. But here we are, I've got a bit of hard now. Oh, we, we got red primer too. for the first layer of filler to dry. Not looking bad. We've drilled, drilled that out now, so oh, cleaner Joe's arrived. We just need to find out if this fits. I reckon this is the most entertaining lowdown garage content we've ever seen. Yeah. This is proper mega. It feels close. We'll, uh, we'll have a try. It does actually slide on now. We're gonna try thread it on, so uh, time lapse it is. Look at that! Damn! Right, so Joe's got his arch all filled up. We're just waiting for it to dry, but it is taking a while to dry. We're gonna have to wait till next week on that one. So for now, um, this week we should be getting the uh, subframe back from powder coating. And uh, I think we'll be waiting for that to dry and we're just gonna be doing the body just in, in its own time. Uh, there's absolutely no rush for that. Obviously, we've got our success for the gear stick for today, which is absolutely mint. Exactly what we wanted. Obviously, comparison from the start of the video. Now it's there, there. So, absolutely mint. Right, thank you for watching this episode of another E30 Winter Work. Now, here's a bit of a teaser for the future. We've got the uh, bushes and the new arms all wrapped up and ready. So, uh, thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you.